What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through a few tips on how to improve your video quality so that once you've uploaded it to YouTube and Instagram, it's gonna look a bit better. So the first one is to add a sharpen effect before you export. This will make your videos look a bit more detailed and depending on how much sharpen you add, it can also make your video really stand out on Instagram feeds and YouTube shorts feeds. I've actually seen this effect used quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is go over to my effects tab in Final Cut Pro over here and then I'm just gonna search for sharpen and I'm just gonna drag on this RN sharpen effect. I'll leave the link to this in the description. It's a sharpen effect that I created, which has a lot more adjustments than just the sharpen effect that you can get in Final Cut Pro. The one in Final Cut Pro does a pretty good job, but if you want to turn it up in full effect, it's more of like a HDR effect. So I created this plugin to give way more options when sharpening the image. Once I've added the effect to the video clip, it automatically gives it a slight sharpen, which would be great for a really subtle effect to make your video look a bit better quality. But if we go over to the settings, and if I turn this all the way up, you can see how much sharpness you can add to get this like really high definition effect. And then if we turn down the radius, it doesn't affect the skin tones as much and gives more of a natural look. And adding this effect makes 1080p footage look 4K, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the next tip for better quality is called upscaling. This is when you take a 1080p video clip or a 4K video clip and export it in a higher resolution. So this project is in 1080p and my video clip, if I select it and go up here, is in 1080p. So what I'm going to do is change the settings of the project so that they're 4K. And I can do this by pressing Command J on the keyboard and then going to Modify on the right hand side here and going to Video Format and just go to 4K, click OK. So now when I export this video, it will give me the option to export it in 4K, even though the video is a 1080p video file. This will retain a little bit more quality when you upload it to YouTube and I've found it helps a lot and improves the quality, especially with GoPro footage. So it's definitely one to try out and see if this works for yourself. Okay, so the next tip is to make sure you're exporting with optimized media and you can check this by going up to the view button up here and go down to media playback and just make sure optimized original media is ticked before you export the video. And this ensures that you have the maximum quality once the video has exported. And it even says this on the Apple website the next tip is to export the master file instead of compressing the video file. When it comes to exporting the video clip, if we just select this portion of the timeline and go to the export button. I'll just click on the default. And then if we go to the settings, go to format. And instead of using the publishing, we go to mastering video and audio and then choose Apple ProRes 422. And the file sizes when you export this way are going to be huge but if you can manage it and if you have the hard drive space for it. So sometimes it's worth it if you really want to show off the quality of your video. But if not, the second best format, I would say is publishing computer or Apple devices and then H.264 better quality. And then if you're upscaling, just make sure the resolution is set to a resolution size one bigger than your video clips. So if it's 1080p, then export it as 4K. And I haven't got around to trying 4K exporting as 8K yet, but if you have tried that, then let me know in the comments um, if that works and if you've noticed any improvements in the quality. And if anyone has any other tips that they've used to improve the quality once they've uploaded, then feel free to share it in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.